Hello everybody, before we get to your forecast, I just do want to update everyone on what is going on with my apprenticeship program training. We are now at 21.9% of goal. Thank you to everybody who has donated this week. I do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And I know that we will get there, that all the money will come in at the right time, as it's supposed to, and that um, we will have the interactions that we need to um, when the time is right. So looking forward to getting to meet and work with all of you, looking forward to being able to give you my gift back to you, that Reiki, and um, just really excited that things are just moving forward. So on to your readings hello there virgo thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast for the week of august 15th through the 21st what you guys have coming up on monday is the wheel of fortune card the wheel of fortune card is a really good card it talks about a couple of different things either way you slice it though it's fantastic the first thing that this can be saying is that there's some situation that the timing is right on. So if there's something that you have been waiting for a long time for the timing to be right to be able to move forward with, then this may very well be your day, Virgo. Now, the other thing that the Wheel of Fortune can indicate is that there is some unexpected positive happening coming up in your life on Monday. Um, for some of you, I feel like you may get medical news that is better than expected. Maybe some of you have been dealing with some issues and uh, you go in to hear test reports and the doctor says, you know what, whatever we saw before, it's not there now. That could be happening for some of you. Um, for others of you, this can be just something that's much more mundane and random. Uh, but some kind of good, unexpected thing happening to you on Monday, Virgo. On Tuesday, what we have coming up is the Devil card. And the Devil card is just telling me that on Tuesday, you are facing some kind of fears. Um, to me, the Devil is all about fear. That's how he actually controls us. Because he doesn't have any power over us at all, really. The only way that he can control us is if we think he does. And he establishes fear in our minds. So to me, when I see the devil card, this is all about facing our fears. So I think we've got something coming up on Tuesday that is a big fear um, for you, Virgos. And you're going to have to really look that right in the face. And I think how you Virgos are going to respond to that, according to this card, is you're going to look it right in the face and you're going to say, you know, I used to be really scared of you, but now I'm seeing that I have a plan for if the worst happens. I would live through it if the worst happens. It would be totally okay. And so just really taking a good look at that fear and sort of picking it apart and realizing I'm not quite sure why I was so scared of that before. That's what I see coming in for you Tuesday. That's not an easy day. It could be actually a more difficult thing to have happen, but still a positive move forward because once we face a fear like that, then we realize um, the truth about it. And as we realize the truth about it, it makes it that much easier for us to move forward productively in our lives. Okay, so then let's look at Wednesday. What we have coming up here is the Two of Coins. The Two of Coins just tells me that you're going to be um, really balancing things out well on Wednesday. So this can be anything from making sure all your bills are covered and balancing that checkbook all the way out to um, balancing the time that you're spending during the day. Maybe um, between family and home life and me time. Um, this can also be balancing um, projects that you're working on during the day and making sure that everything gets taken care of. The cool thing about this card is that even though it may feel like things are kind of hectic to you as you're taking care of this, um, other people are going to see what you're doing and, and they are going to see you as handling it very gracefully. Now, Moving on to Thursday, we do have the Eight of Coins showing up in reverse. And the Eight of Coins showing up in reverse is telling me that one of two things is happening. For some of you, both of these are happening. 
where do I want to start with this? Okay, so the one thing that this can be is this can be about not working. Maybe you call into work or maybe you go to work and you just do the minimum, minimum, minimum that you have to do to get by. Or this can be that you had a project you were planning on working on on your house and this does not happen. Um, but just not working. Uh, really chilling out. Um, and I feel like this is more of a chill in the pajamas with the feet up on the couch type of day. I don't really see a lot of, like sometimes I'll see this card and I'll see a lot of, you know, boats and beaches and, you know, fishing and hiking and stuff like that. I don't see anything like that here. This is, this is really more about staying in the house and just chilling. Um, for most of you, of course, it's not going to be with everybody. Now, the other way that this is coming in for some of you Virgos is also that there's something going on with a relationship of yours that is not working so well. And I feel like you're starting to realize it's not working so well on Thursday. It's almost like all of a sudden um, you guys run into a big reality check about how well things actually are working for the two of you in the relationship. Now, for some of you, this will be a romantic relationship, certainly, quite a few of you. But I feel like this is also going to be, uh, for some of you, this is going to be more of a family relationship. And for a few of you, this is going to be more about a friendship. But um, just some kind of reality check in a relationship that to where you realize this is not working as well as I thought it was can also be coming up besides the day of chilling. So some of you are actually going to have both of this happen on the same day. And for some of you, it's just going to be one or the other. Let's move on to Friday, Virgos. What we have here is the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is just telling me that you have something that you're very happy about on Friday. This can be a relationship that's moving forward. It can be a project that's moving forward. It's something that you have a lot of emotion tied up into. And whatever this is that you have that emotion tied up into, you get to move forward with it, and that makes you happy. The Ten of Cups card can be about marriage. It can be about moving a relationship forward. It can be about, some of you I have this strong impression that you have some kind of project at work and you've been waiting for the client or for the boss to say, yes, move forward with it. I feel like you get the okay to move forward with that project on Friday for some of you that that's the situation. Whatever it is, it's making you very happy to move forward with it. All right, so Saturday... What you guys have coming up is the Seven of Coins. Seven of Coins has to do with... <laughs> okay, I'll get to why I'm laughing here in a minute. But Seven of Coins has to do with investing either time, energy, resources, finances, something into a situation or into a person, into a something, expecting that there will be a payout that comes back to you um, for what you have invested into this. And so on Friday, we do see that payout coming back to you. Now, I'm laughing because I had an image of somebody doing some betting <laughs> and getting a payout on the betting. So Please don't go hog wild based on that in a general reading if you're somebody who likes to bet. Do not bet your rent money. Do not bet anything crazy, okay? So, the, I almost hate to say that, but it was a message that came through. So, here's here's something. I mean, I had a... I had an uncle who used to be alive who was very successful at betting and he would go into the casinos into the high stakes table rooms where they closed the door behind the people and he would always come out well. I think out of the whole time that I knew him and he probably died while I was in my 20s, he might have lost on five trips to Vegas. Usually he came back way up. Um, but he told me that there's always a rule to betting and that rule is you don't bet anything that you cannot afford to lose without it hurting you. So, for those of you who are hearing that one of the examples that came up as betting, please remember that rule. Only bet what you can afford to live without. Okay? Because this is a general reading. Just because in general I see people doing well on a bet, 
which seriously I'm feeling like it's a bet for whoever this applies to, does not mean that everybody is going to do well on a bet. Okay? So, um, I do feel like, though, that for somebody there is betting involved, and I do feel like it's one bet for that person that does um, very well. Um, but this does not have to be anything like that. This can be an emotional thing where you have invested into a relationship in the hopes that this other person would open up to you at some point, and maybe now they're actually opening up. That would be a Seven of Coins card. That would trigger that card. Um, this can be uh, investing in real estate. Maybe you've bought a home to flip and you've invested the time and the energy to fix this home up and maybe now it's selling on Saturday or maybe now you're at least getting some serious offers on Saturday but you're moving towards that goal. You're starting to see that money coming in off of that investment. So lots of different ways that this can manifest. So um, yeah, let's not focus on just the one. Sunday, what we have coming up is the judgment card. To me, this talks all about a couple of different things, and you guys are going to have to figure out which one actually applies to you today. So the Judgment card can be talking about new beginnings, new starts. Um, this can be a completely new beginning, or this can be a renewal of something that has been going on for a while that kind of needed to be tweaked or stepped up. And so there may be a renewal there. Um, this also can talk about really thinking things through, having a big decision that you need to make that not only affects yourself but also affects several other people as well. And so trying to make that decision in such a way that everybody involved will be affected, affected as positively as possible. So either a really, really, really big decision or a new beginning. And for some of you, this could be easily a big decision about a new beginning, about whether you want to embark on that new beginning that shows up on Sunday. And this new beginning could affect a lot of people. So there you have it, Virgos. Thank you so much for stopping by, for hanging out, for liking, for sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I do appreciate all of your support. If I don't see you during the week for a reading or a Reiki, or a Reiki session, I will see you back here the next time. Everyone have a fantastic week. Peace out. Hello everybody, this is Amista, and I am coming to you today with something completely different than what you've ever seen here before, completely different than what I ever thought I would do. Um, I have been taking Reiki training, and I've gotten level one, and I've gotten level two, and I really want to take master training because already I've realized that there are other people out there who need to know how to be um, able to do Reiki for themselves. And I'm not able, I'm not qualified to show them that or to teach them that or to pass that on to them or empower them with that until I become a Reiki master. And so I was looking into a Reiki master program and I meet all the qualifications as far as that goes. I've been accepted into the master program, but the last little bit of money is what I need some help with, and I'm hoping that you guys um, will help me with that. Um, I need to raise another $3,000 to get myself into the program, and so that's where you guys come in. Um, what I'm doing is I am accepting very happily and very thankfully and very gratefully any donations that you may feel like you would want to give. If you don't want to, obviously, then don't. <laughs> um, but if you do feel like you want to help me to get into this Reiki Master Apprenticeship Program, any help that you, any of you and all of you send is great. Uh, no donation is too small. Um, I just ask that they're over like 35 cents because I think PayPal will take 35 cents of whatever comes in um, as a fee for collecting payment. But 
anything other than over 35 cents is no donation is too small. So there's the corrected version of that. Um, and actually, I was looking with, I have over 7,000 subscribers. If every subscriber donated a dollar, I would be able to end this um, request. But, so if you would like to donate, I would be extremely thankful. I would appreciate that a lot. Also, I want to do something for you in exchange for donating. So anybody who would donate at all, um, I would like to offer you 15 minutes of uh, free Reiki distant healing. In other words, I would send you some healing energy um, where you would not have to come to my house or we would not have to meet in person. Um, just like I do a lot of my readings by Skype or by phone, I can also send the healing energy without having to be right in front of you. We don't even have to be on the phone or on Skype when I do it, although I will want to touch base with you ahead of time to find out where you would like me to target that energy. If you have any particular thing you want to um, have worked on energetically and also to touch base after it's done just to let you know that I have sent the energy in to check in with you, see how you're feeling, that type of thing. Um, anybody who donates anything more than $50, what I would like to do is send you some Reiki energy. I would send you the same amount of minutes of Reiki energy as you send dollars. So say you donate $50, then I would send you 50 minutes of Reiki um, energy. Anybody who wants to donate and doesn't want to receive Reiki but knows somebody else that they would like to have the Reiki sent to, um, feel free to let me know that and we, you can gift that Reiki to somebody else and I will just touch base with them, make sure I have permission to send them that energy and um, talk to them about where they would like it targeted and all of that just like I would if I was sending that to you. Um, so that is what I've got going on and I really appreciate like I said, all of the help any of you can send. I know not everybody can send. Not everybody will want to send help. Um, but I am hoping that there will be enough to get me into this quickly, quickly. Otherwise, I would probably have to wait, I don't know, six months, a year before I had this kind of uh, money to get myself into there. And I don't want to wait that long. I want to be able to empower people more quickly than that. Um, so what I'm doing is I am in the description section on underneath the video. I'm going to send you a link where you can donate and you can choose whatever amount you want to donate. And um, I will probably also have that um, showing in the video as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you everybody for listening and for giving this some thought, some prayer, some attention. And um, thank you, everybody, who actually does donate as well. I appreciate it all. Thank you so much. Peace.